Natasha Romanoff isn't leaving the MCU without a fight. She's finally getting her own feature film, and she'll be tagging on copycat villain Taskmaster. Taskmaster takes cues from Captain America and Hawkeye in the newest trailer, and it turns out that he's teamed up with the Red Room Academy, which means that things are about to get a whole lot more complicated for Natasha. Thankfully, she's not taking him on alone. Black Widow will feature multiple widows in addition to our favorite femme fatale. One of these is Florence Pugh, who just might be the MCU's newest permanent addition. So what does the new trailer tell us about what we can expect when Black Widow hits theaters? Here are all the details you might have missed. You got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Well, the previous Black Widow trailers have already confirmed the appearance of Taskmaster, the news trailer gives us a sneak peek at what the villain is up to in the new film. It looks like he's now in control of the Red Room a top-secret Soviet organization that brainwashes young girls and turns them into top-level assassins and spies. While Taskmaster is in control, the Red Room spies are described as fully conscious, but with no choices. It looks like Natasha's primary goal in this new film is to save the Red Room soldiers from Taskmaster's control, but that's going to be a tough mission as he is powerful on his own. But paired with a large group of talented assassins trained in the same way as Natasha Romanoff? Well, one thing's for sure, the movie will be filled with combat, car chases, and action galore. So let's discuss what these new Black Widow revelations tell us about what to expect from the new film. So, who is Taskmaster? In the comics, his real name is Tony Masters. He has very strange powers which make him a huge threat, though he has been known to use them for good on rare occasions. His skills are known as photographic reflexes. These give him the ability to master any movement just by watching and studying others. Tony first discovered these strange powers as a boy and eventually used them to become a star quarterback in high school just by watching one NFL game. When he graduated, he gave up football for a life of crime. After 2010, Taskmaster got an entirely new origin story involving a super soldier-like injection. Tony injected himself with the one surviving vial of the formula courtesy of a mad scientist. He was hoping the powers could be reverse engineered for good. But of course, strange injections rarely work out well. So instead, Tony became Taskmaster. Regardless of which origin story Black Widow goes with, or if they retcon him again and make up their own, it's safe to say that Taskmaster's incredible powers will stay intact. In addition to copying the moves and skills of others, he can also mimic the speech and vocal range of others. The skills he's developed to use these weapons come from some of our favorite MCU superheroes. Of course, there's his shield skills courtesy of copying Captain America, but he's also skilled with a bow and arrow, thanks to the one and only Hawkeye. We might get a closer look at Hawkeye's past as well, since he and Natasha have a very close relationship that started with him being sent to eliminate her by shield. As far as we know, the only one who can defy Taskmaster's imitation powers is Deadpool, because he's just too unpredictable. I'm not saying we'll for sure see Taskmaster appear eventually in a Deadpool movie, but it's a fun possibility to keep in mind. As for the actor playing the villain, we still have no idea. All we know is that Taskmaster's got his signature shield and his character design is pretty true to the comics. And based on those fighting scenes, his photographic reflexes will be top notch in Black Widow. What actor do you think is under the mask? Drop your best guesses below in the comments. Now, what about the Red Room trainees? It looks like they're going to be tough soldiers for Natasha and her crew to go up against. It's hard to say how Taskmaster has been training them, but we wouldn't rule out those super soldier injections being part of the package. We see Florence Pugh's character, Yelena, being strapped down at one point as someone near her prepares a needle. The trailer features a lot of action from Natasha's assassin sisters. They can be seen crashing through ceilings, carrying major firepower, and going on motorcycle car chases to hunt down Natasha and Yelena. But what exactly has made them skilled fighters? Department X's Red Room Academy, was the Soviet Union's attempt to produce the world's greatest spies during the Cold War era. We've only seen the Red Room a few times in the MCU. In flashbacks during Age of Ultron, we see that Natasha went through grueling training to become a Black Widow. This included things like ballet to develop flexibility and movement control, as well as target practice, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and agility. Natasha reveals that she tried to fail the training because she didn't want to graduate but she eventually passed and was eventually dubbed a Black Widow. The Red Room Academy would take in orphan girls for their training programs, so there were lots of Black Widows out there even before Taskmaster took control. Brainwashing the Widows is not a Taskmaster-only kind of thing. In the comics, the girls were often implanted with fabricated memories. This means that some of Natasha's memories of her childhood might not be so accurate, but the new movie might give us a better look at how Natasha's life was as a child and whether or not a lot of her childhood is a lie. 
Part of the Red Room's process in the comics involves biochemical conditioning. The trainees were experimented on to make them immune to the effects of aging and disease while also boosting their physical abilities and immune systems. But a negative byproduct of this process was that all the trainees became infertile. So the widows quite literally couldn't be born. They had to be constructed carefully by the program, leaving the program's graduates still under control of the new organization, even if they did somehow manage to get away, like Natasha did by defecting to S.H.I.E.L.D. and later to the Avengers. Natasha might be the black widow we know and love, but there's another widow at the forefront of the film's new trailer. Florence Pugh will be playing Yelena Belova, Natasha's Red Room sister. In the trailer, she and Natasha seem to be as close as real sisters. Rumor has it that Pugh will be taking up the title of Black Widow in future Marvel films. With how prominently she's featured in the trailer, and likely the movie, it seems like these rumors are going to turn out to be true. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see Florence Pugh get a permanent place in the MCU. Yelena does appear in the comics, which offers us some hints about what the movie will do with her character. She was a spy trained in the Red Room Academy, but she underwent physical training only, so has no biochemical enhancements. Her skills and scores in the program were so high that they rivaled the top Black Widow, who is of course Natasha Romanov. Yelena is particularly skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and is also an Olympic-level gymnast. Her favorite weapon is no weapon at all. Her relationship with Natasha is complicated. At first, she was sent by the Russian government to track down Natasha. But eventually, Natasha was able to convince her that the Red Room spies were only tools for the government, and Yelena struck out of her own job. She even took up a job modeling. It seems like Black Widow will find her independent from the Red Room, but since she's still in Russia, she might be caught up in their plans. Here's to hoping that Natasha will finally be able to get her out of there for good and bring her to America, where she can finally team up with the Avengers. Florence Pugh and Scarlett Johansson are joined by Stranger Things' David Harbour, who plays Alexei also known as the Red Guardian, who's kind of like the Russian Captain America. We get to see him go hand in hand with some of the Red Room's trained fighters. He seems to hold up his own just fine, even though he had some trouble fitting into his old suit. In the comics, the KGB trained Alexei to become the second Red Guardian. He eventually became a cruel, ruthless man due to his training. But in the comics, he was also once married to Natasha. It seems like that in the film, he might be more of a father figure to her. So it's possible that his cold personality might also get a makeover. But it's likely that he did have a dark past that'll be explored, like Natasha and her sisters. His powers in the comics are generally very physical, so we'll have to see just how well he jumps back into things after letting himself go a little bit. The film will also feature Rachel Weisz as Melina Vostokov, another of Natasha's Red Room sisters. She also takes on the assassin in direct combat in the trailer, showing off how the programs trained her to be a skilled fighter. In the comics, she is also known as the Iron Maiden. She was originally an agent of the Russian government, but forced to live in the Black Widow's shadow. She eventually becomes bitter and starts to hate Natasha. Could this be foreshadowing of betrayal later in the film? Well, Alexei refers to her as Natasha's mother at one point, which suggests that the group has a tight familial bond. It's hard to say if Natasha will be betrayed by her, but it's entirely possible that this is the whole purpose to including Iron Maiden in the new movie. Another familiar face appears halfway through the trailer that longtime MCU fans will know well, Thaddeus Ross. We know him best as the guy who approved the Sokovia Accords in Captain America Civil War. This makes sense since Black Widow is a flashback for the MCU. It's rumored to be set after the events of Captain America Civil War, but before Infinity War. This means that Ross could be on the lookout for Rogue Avengers after the Accords have been put into action. Robert Downey Jr. is rumored to be making an appearance as Iron Man in the film, but no word yet on whether or not we can expect other Avengers to pop in to help out the Black Widow. But if they do, it's likely that Ross will make things pretty difficult for them. So what else can we expect from Black Widow? Well, in the trailer, Natasha proclaims that she is done running. Since she's no longer escaping her past, we can expect the new film to shed a lot of light on where Natasha comes from and her relationships outside of the Avengers. And expect the movie to give us some closure after Natasha's ending in Endgame. This might be Scarlet's last time taking on the Black Widow role. Expect her to go out with a bang. The movie will be released on May 1st, 2020, so we won't have to wait too much longer to see how the MCU ties up Natasha's story. While there's a chance we may not get to see Scarlet in any more Avenger films, there is a possibility that new Marvel adventures like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and the Disney Plus show like What If will use time travel, timeline shifts, and multiverse magic to resurrect the beloved characters for a few more adventures. Do you hope Natasha has a future in the MCU, or is it time to say goodbye for good? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Screen Rant to stay up to date. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.